the audience. Just right where we left off. Didn't go off screen and do anything, including get the uh, heart oh, man, that was oh, man, oh, man. What am I gonna do? Monsters! They're here! They found me! Help! Huh? There we go. Apologies if I'm not talking as loudly as I usually am. Uh, again, no volume settings. There we go. I will still make an effort to talk louder, but I at least can hear my own thoughts. Yeah. Mm. Huh? Okay, basically, I'm explaining my plan to... I think that was me explaining my plan to take down um, the Divine Beast. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, there it is. If you didn't see it before, it's a giant lizard. Um, yeah. Where are we going? Back to Ron City. Let's just warp back. It's faster. how loud the lava waterfall is. Lava fall? Whatever. Rock hill. Um, yeah, we're going over there. What are you for? Uh, you. Grace is ready. Thank you. Uh, yeah, he forges weapons and shit. Oh, thank you. Oh, uh, okay, so here's a Daruk memory. The Daruk memory. Oh, no, what's up there? Oh, Daruk, and below him is something that breaks timelines, because he's not even supposed to be in this universe. Let alone this timeline. Champions know they better eat their gravel if they want to keep up with the roof. That's a bad Speaking idea for several which, reasons. Can you believe this view? Just look at all those delectable rocks sprinkled on those mountains. Mighty tasty. I may not know a whole lot about this calamity Ganon thing, but mark my words, I'll protect this land of ours to the death. Right, little guy? <laughs> <laughs> hey, by the way, congrats on becoming the princess's appointed knight. That's a really big deal, protecting the king's daughter. <laughs> no pressure. Seriously, though, the princess is a strong personality. So strong, she can't quite see the range for the peaks. Remember that, and you'll be fine. Huh? What the? <laughs> and that's the ability we're gonna get from Dirk, so. Yeah. Alright, so what was I saying? That was a little strange. As far as I know, Death Mountain has been quiet for decades. 
it's literally leaking lava. What the fuck are you talking about? But if the mountain is shivering enough to send out a bunch of boulders that size, then never mind. Forget I said anything. There's rivers. You, we're looking at the rivers of lava now. Never mind, I guess. Sheldon Bridge. So, Elden Bridge is along this path. Uh, I didn't mention that, but yeah. Hey! hey. Those? Oh no, I didn't use octo balloons. Oh, all right. Gotta make a note to use those. Let's see if I can get a hang of this real quick. Frozen bird thigh. So that's what happens if you throw it in frozen climates or kill them with an ice arrow. Not often that you. Oh, I got a raw whole bird. That's nice. Yeah, this is a kind of precarious path, but I know that there's roofs above it, so I'm good. Anyway, I do want to cook up that raw whole bird. We'll made a, make a really good meat skewer, but I really like it more. It's like this. Roasted whole bird. There we go. And yeah, it'll give you the same thing. No, no, actually it heals you less than the roasted bird thigh, but... Yeah, it gives you a minute of resistant to heat. Not fire heat, like proper like just warmer sentiments. Um yeah, okay, so we're heading along the right path. Okay, so Yeah. So this is kinda neat. There's Goron City down there. And this is a giant bridge above Goron City. <laughs> I really like this. Oh, up here is a tutorial for a new mechanic. I think we can use stasis first. So there is this. It's a cart. Those are tracks. Let's go. What's interesting is that you can stay sit and hit it, or if you notice there's a little hole right here, and then you can just put a bomb in it, and it'll go. I did not know that. I thought you had to break all your fucking weapons hitting the damn thing. I feel stupid. Or felt stupid anyway after learning that. And also, this is to establish that they're metal, and they can be placed on tracks at any time. The wheels are really just there for effect, it's actually the bottom thing that. Anyway. Yeah. So we're going to skip a lot of the path by using this. See this all that over there and go around or two. And I think this is more of a tutorial for demonstrating you can We'll do that too, but you can place down bombs. Amber. Take all the Octorok pieces while we're here. Did I not take those? Like, did I never... Alright, whatever. And then we need to... Um... I have a plan. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> yeah! I feel good. -na 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 -na. Here we go. Hello, keys. And cool. Fuck. Rocks. Uh. Okay, that hurt a lot. Whatever, I've got me for grace. And a shrine to get to, so let's get the shrine.
If you're watching these as they come out, then, uh, you're probably noticing a pattern that every single weekend it's just a video that I'm obviously just, you know, cranking out for the sake of I need one. Also, I need to get back into a more steady schedule of backlogging videos. Uh, this one's interesting. Yeah! So this is called Stalled Flight. Basically what I have to do is... Oh. Oh, I think I have to be on top of it first. What does that say? Oh, never mind. Yeah, so if you notice, it has an electrical thing on top, and that's what that's affecting. I look at it. Yeah, see, it's affecting the electrical thing. And now we can go. Yeah. Come on. There we go. Apparently I have to be facing the thing. Ooh, fancy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, there's well over a hundred of those things to collect. I have to skip past them. <laughs> yeah, we're only a couple shrines away. I think... How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have nine. That would be ten once we get that. Eleven if we... So two more shrines and the next Divine Beast, and we should be able to get the Master Sword. Sweetness. That's, that, that'll be our plan, then. Also, um, each environment has only two layers of something. Of, um, like, environment stuff. Like, you know, Death Mountain only has two layers of heat. When you go even higher, it doesn't really matter. You can still make the two layers. The reason that you want to get the third layer is that you can have a s the full set um, and get a set bonus, which adds extra effects. Okay, so he's being attacked by... Fucking moblins, so I have to go kill these. Why? Does my shield do nothing in this game? Are you fucking kidding me? When does my shield activate? Are you fucking kidding me? Another fairy. I'm just gonna die, aren't I? How many fairies do I have left? None. Now wait, fairies are in my materials, aren't they? One fairy. Okay, fuck it. What? Okay, I'll use that next time. Oh no! He killed me! Ow. Okay, I'll just use a great thunder blade next time. Yeah, because that'll actually disarm him. Yeah, whatever. Doesn't matter. The reason that I died was not because I'm garbage at the game, it's because I chose to die. That means I get my materials back that I wasted on the fight. Because now I have a strategy, which means I can conserve materials. Dying is sometimes better in the long run. That's game advice, not life advice. Don't actually do that. Kind of like when you see like someone that's really good at like a tower defense game or whatever, and they just let a couple enemies at the beginning like get through, just because they're like saving money or something. I don't know. There's a reason for it, and that's my excuse. What? I, really? They walked away and then teleported back for the sake of this. Thank you. I'll take the drill shaft. I won't. Whatever. I'll take the drill shaft, yeah. Get fucked. No, 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 I want those. I, I need those. Don't you dare. Stop it! Ugh, yes. Fuck! Whatever. 
Alright, whatever. Fine. See how- see what I mean with the whole Katamari of items thing? Now I've got a drill shaft. Anyway. Alright, cool. Okay, whatever. Oh my god, would you just shut up? I get it. Anyway, we're boarding Virginia, that's a cannon, that's a giant bridge that we have to knock over first, so let's knock over the bridge. But oh wait, we don't have any ammo, and he's got Durek's protection. We get in the cannon. <laughs> so we can't hit uh, the Colossus yet, so we have to knock out the bridge. I forgot what they're called, the Mind Beast. There we go. Leaning back and then leaning forward for some unexplained reason. That's because that's how levers work. Whatever. Doesn't matter. And look at how clumsy he is. Okay. Yeah, just yes, you're very stupid. Let's go. Alright, now he's going to follow me around just like in Eager After Sequelitis. What is this? Checkpoint 3? Marker number 8. Bridge of Elden. I missed a heat level 2. Non Gorons turn back or burn. I think I missed a couple checkpoints on the way up here. Is that a shrine? No, that's lava. They look very similar. Bright orange. Oh, lovely. Varudania, Varudinia, whatever. Doesn't matter. Point is, I'm going to take it over. It's a lizard. If you didn't gather. Yeah, and all the pink stuff isn't writing, it's just markings that mean nothing, which is really annoying. So this is a stealth section. My favorite. I hate stealth sections. Alright, whatever. Yes, yes. Of course. What kind of signal should we use? A wink, a whistle, mind powers. How about a whistle? Because there's a button for that and they needed to use it. So, if I whistle, he stands still. And if I whistle again, he follows me. So we're going to get as close to the stealth guys as possible. I'm going to whistle so he stops following me. And then, yeah. And sometimes his pathfinding fucks up a bit, and we have to go back and save him. So, yeah. Okay, you go over there. Come here, Yanaba. The reason I want to get him so close is because when I finally actually kill the thing, um, I need to call Yanaba over, and it only works at a certain distance. Okay. I don't care what you say, I was out of that circle. Fuck. Yeah, it, it sends rocks at you. Like, directly at you. And you know about his third connection, so... He's good. God fucking damn it! Why can't you use it while you're climbing? That's stupid. I hate this section. Yeah, that, that does just jack shit. You just have to blow them up with bombs that never hit. God fucking damn it. I'm not bad at this game. It's just I hate stealth sections. I'm not gonna do good in a section I hate. No, 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 no. God damn it. No. I hate this game right now. Fucking god damn it, fuck you! Ugh. Why won't you die? I've hit you like 50 times! This is one of like 30 that I have to kill, by the way. That's what's making this so annoying. I'm not that impatient. Ugh. Fucking damn it. 
This is gonna take a very long time. God, I hate, I hate, I just feel nothing but hate right now. Are you too far away or is your pathfinding fucked up? You're too far away. Why were you too far away and then when I didn't move at all, you suddenly were further away? How does that work? Apparently stop to you means run in the opposite direction. When at a stop sign have you ever seen a car start moving backwards? And yeah, also he has no common sense. If you just forget to whistle, he just thinks that like, Oh, okay, so the beams of light are good now. Good. Okay, this is the kind of fun way of killing these things. You just kind of push them. Push these blocks on top of them. There we go. There's the kill. But of course, that's like the one time you can do that. Because, fuck it. It's not poor game design. I'm very salty about this section. Death Mountain in general is probably my least favorite part of this game. Just because I have so many bad memories here, this being one of them. Like this current one, this very second. The rest of the time doing this, it's okay. But just the fact that I did this one time that I'm doing this particular section is what's making me hate Death Mountain even more. <sighs> the control is not helping. Urgh! Don't you... Fuck yourself. Yeah, audio's plugged in, thank god. Okay! What the fuck did you just say? Okay then. What are you exhausted for? What the fuck have you been doing? Oh, and I think you can use those to kill them as well. You can stealth around them, by the way. Uh, I just hate stealth sections so much that uh, that would actually be way more frustrating. So I'm not doing that. I think this will to kill them, right? Yeah, wow, okay. Part in particular is a lot easier than I remember. This this one section of this part of the game is easier than I remember. Not the whole part. Not every. Not the entire stealth section. Stealth section still as horrible as ever. Also, I think he might be cranky or whatever. If he doesn't follow you. Whatever. Oh, I never asked him to stop following me. Go. Did. This is kind of an interesting section. You can use those to block uh, your sight. But I'm going to use them uh, to block his sight. I mean, you know. Whatever. You get my point. Uh, you can use those to block his sight so you can self under him. Or you could go up here and. Get better controllers, god fucking damn it. I was holding up that entire time, by the way. God, fuck this. You see why this is a nightmare? Ugh! Ugh! Get up there! I do not care. I do not care. I just don't fucking care. I don't care how valuable this item is. It insta-kills that thing, so fuck it. There's like three of those before you can get to uh, the final boss, by the way. Yes, you can make more, but they're expensive as hell, and I do not care how much money and time I just wasted killing that thing, and it is way more satisfying than failing consistently. Waiter! Are we going that way, or...? I, I mean, I guess. I hate this section. This is my least favorite section of the game, and this is one of the best games ever. You don't fucking 
there. Ah! Uh. Spread your shit. All right, there we go. You stone smasher. And you moblin. What the fuck happened? Yes! I don't give a shit about the parts anymore. Alright. I probably had a, actually a worse time doing this on the speedrun, by the way. If you wanna watch that, this... Man. That, was, that was horrible, too. I, as I said, I, I had a worse time doing that. Because I don't want to start the next episode on a sour note, uh, I'm just going to commit to having this one be a longer episode, like 45 minutes-ish. So let's just get past this section. That's all I want to do in this episode, and then we'll end it immediately once we're done. The Divine Beast. I'm holding up. There we go. Ugh. Oh, this part's the worst. Literally. Do not move. Piece of shit. Okay, so the outer one is moving. Just getting some fucking stamina back, whatever that close enough. Okay, so the outer one there is the only one that I'm actually required to kill. The inner one is only if I want money. No, I want money, but I'm not gonna actually try to kill it. I mean, if it happens, great, but if not... Hey, look at that! Great. There's also an updraft, so... Jesus Christ. If he gets stuck, I swear to God. Is that magnetizable? No, it is not. Oh, lovely. I think I'm supposed to uh, stasis that thing up there, but no, not happening. Get up here first. Jesus Christ. Okay. What the fuck do I do here? Arrgh! I hate these controllers right now. It's just the right one, honestly. The worst thing. Okay. Time it. Why? Are you fucking kidding me? And I'm gonna throw it right here and it's gonna get caught in the updraft, right? No, nope, alright, fine. Apparently I found the magical weak spot of throwing it into the updraft and it not working somehow. And That hit it! Are you fucking kidding me? How- I don't understand this game sometimes. This time. I don't understand the game when this happens. Look at that. And then, boom. Not- not hitting it somehow. That somehow wasn't the oh that nope now it wasn't the updraft. When it's the least Oh right, what how This is the most bullshit ever How is depth perception supposed to work in the air? There's no depth Why? How did that not hit it? don't fucking get it at all. Right. Theoretically, I should just be able to do that, right? Okay, never mind, I guess. Yep. 
Why? Why this? Why any of this? How? Oh my god, if I can hit you with a rock, you can fucking hear me. Are you deaf? Are you legally deaf? Why am I... Why do I not just... It would actually be easier to do this whole thing while lugging cannonballs rather than this guy. Okay. I disarm both of them. I disarm the one that's armed. There we go. And then I grab... Stone Smasher. <sighs> Give up because they can rearm themselves. Get back to the disarming weapon. Wait till the animation's over. B I magically stop the thing! Help you. Really. Help you. <sighs> That's it. I think this is the last checkpoint. This was a lot more effort than it was worth. Jesus fucking Christ. I don't even want to strangle the robot lizard. I want to strangle an actual lizard. I don't care what kind of lizard as long as I can just crush its esophagus. I hate that section so much. Whatever, it's done. I did it. It's all that matters now. Yes. Hey, little guy. Long time no see. I always knew you'd come back. You know, I never stopped believing in you. You're here to take control of old Radania back from Ganon, eh? You're gonna need Probably. a map that shows the guts of this place. You can grab the info from the Guidance Stone over there. Now get a move on! Okay... <sighs> now this. Good night, everybody.